All right, what's going on, everybody? It's a Tyrannitar Tutor, and today we're going to get into intramolecular forces versus intermolecular forces. Now, this is just an overview video, so we're going to kind of just scratch the surface over what an intramolecular force is and what an intermolecular force is. We'll get more in depth later in the series. Now, we'll start off with intramolecular forces. So these are going to be your bonding forces. And intr intramolecular forces, they're, they're going to exist within molecules. And these are going to influence the chemical properties of a compound. And some examples of these are going to be, you know, your metallic bonds, ionic bonds, and covalent bonds. And, and we'll, uh, we'll draw an example of that here in a minute, but we're going to get into intermolecular forces now too. So I'm going to draw a little line to kind of denote intramolecular versus intermolecular. And then again, sorry for the uh, horribly straight line. But so now we'll get into our... Uh, intermolecular forces. So these are going to be considered your non-bonding forces. And they're going to exist between molecules. So it's going to be like, you know, your, your hydrogen bonds, your London dispersion forces, your dipole-dipole forces, all these, you know, kind of interactions between molecules. And these are going to influence the physical properties of a substance. So you know that's your uh, that's your boiling point, you know your heat of vaporization, all that good stuff. That's going to influence, you know, dictate and influence those kind of properties of a substance. And you know, like I said, examples of these are going to be your dipole-dipole forces, your hydrogen bonds, etc. Which you know, there's there's about four more of these intermolecular forces, but you know, we'll we'll get into that in a later video. So now we're going to kind of get in and we're just going to draw, you know, what does an intramolecular force look like and what does an intermolecular force look like. So with intramolecular forces, these are going to be, like I said, within molecules. So if you have, let's say we have H2O. That's a horribly drawn out, I apologize. So let's say you have H2O. So your intramolecular forces, they're going to be these forces right here. So it's going to be kind of the bond between the H and the O, the bond between the H and the O. Whereas if you get into intermolecular forces, you know, you're going to have the, uh, it's going to be two molecules of water. So you'll have this molecule, and then you'll have this molecule. And then you know, we'll put an H here. Again, I apologize of how horribly drawn this is. But, you know, right now we're just working with a laptop keypad, so pretty bad. So the intermolecular force is going to be that hydrogen bond between the O and the H. So we'll circle that in green. So that's that's an intermolecular force, whereas this right here, the, whenever it's within the molecule, that's your intramolecular force, whereas when it's between the molecules, it's your intermolecular force. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.